In an address to the nation, President Trump saying <clears throat> no Americans were harmed by the Iranian missile attack on Iraqi bases. The president adding he does not want America to use its vast military power in conflict with Iran and is ready to, quote, embrace peace. Now, meanwhile, today is the vote on whether Congress can curb the president's power to wage war with Iran. Tracy Potts has the latest from Washington, D.C. President Trump seems to be moving away from military action instead saying he'll put the squeeze on Iran's economy again. Backing away so from the brink of war. Iran appears to be standing down. So is President Trump. The United States will immediately impose additional punishing economic sanctions on the Iranian regime. These powerful sanctions will remain until Iran changes its behavior. The U.S. responding to a dozen missiles with the power of the purse. The Washington Post reports it's a deliberate attempt to de-escalate after a U.S. drone strike killed Iran's top military commander. Today, the House of Representatives votes on a resolution that would limit the president's ability to take further action without their approval. Get ready for a lively debate. Lawmakers briefed on the intelligence behind that strike disagree whether it was sufficient. It's probably the strongest and most decisive briefing that uh, have ever has ever been conducted. It was sophomoric and utterly unconvincing. Two Republicans agreed. Probably the worst briefing I've seen. What I hear was less than satisfying. Defense officials say U.S. troops got an early warning about the missiles. The U.S. reports no God casualties and minimal damage. Now, some analysts say that Iran deliberately avoided killing U.S. troops, directing those missiles away from where they knew troops would be, allowing them to make a statement without provoking a powerful U.S. military response.